what's your take on Europe? Because it's it's been the other thing. It's been you know concerns around um, manufacturing in Germany and this this, dis, this disinflation, Look, deflation. It's the same. Yeah, you know, we, we keep trying to remind our investors. Yeah, you know, we're long-term stock pickers. We try to avoid worrying about the economy. It's a waste of time. It's noise. Uh, you got your, your gut instincts, but short term, who knows? Um, and it was interesting when you look go back three or four years with the US. We kept saying the US is recovering. The US is recovering. Um, but people were so paranoid about what had happened that they just wouldn't give it credit. And even today, they're still not sure. But what's happened? The US has slowly recovered. So if you look at Europe, it's almost like the US two years with a lag. We're going through that sort of period where there's a lot of uncertainty as to whether it can really get proper traction. Uh, in other words, self-sustaining growth as opposed to being artificially propped up. So people are in that maybe, maybe not. Uh, if the numbers are weak, they get a bit scared. But the reality is it's slowly recovering. So just give it time. They work a little bit differently to the US. The US kind of, once they make a decision, they get things done, they get on with it. Europe's like a big bureaucracy. It just takes time. So it's coming, uh, be patient. And that's again why we, we own the bank stocks because they were like the US played out with a two year lag. So now that the US bank stocks have recovered, still got recovery to go, but you know, we were buying the, the UK and the, the Europeans but below book. Uh, they're oscillating around that book value as, as they wait for that traction, but it's coming. So the reward will be ahead of us. So the, these, you know, the IMF commentary and, and some of these data points are coming out, this is, this is short term noise. I've never paid one, I don't think I've ever read an IMF report. You know, I see the headlines in the papers, but I pay absolutely no attention. Remember, a lot of this stuff is backward looking. Um, did they, you know, were they on top of what was going to happen in 2006, 2007? No, you know, they're backward looking. So we get our best instincts from what's happening at the company level, and things are changing. Um, and as I say, the only difference in Europe is a bit slower. But that's great. You know, if you go back and read our quarter reports, uh, a year or two ago with the US, we said exactly the same things and we said that's a great environment to be buying stocks because the expectations are low, the uncertainty is high, so you've got high risk premiums. So the fact, you know, people often make the mistake that um, you know, if uh, there's all this noise about the economy and you know, uncertainty, it's like, oh, okay, I better wait. No, that's actually when you want to be buying stocks. So if you look at Europe now, yeah, I don't know what's going on in the economy. I, I really don't particularly short term, but the valuations of the stocks are interesting, so that's why we're invested.